One of my students is drowning. All of his grades are below C level. It's time for another episode of Eating on the Run. Today I'm at Jack in the Box. Some people call it Jack in the Crack, but I'm not gonna go there. And I got an item that's actually been on the menu for a while. The chicken fajita pita. And of course, there's just no way to get it out of here neatly. Chicken fajita pita is basically a half a pocket of pita bread or Arabic bread with chicken, cheese, lettuce, and tomatoes, and some sort of light sauce. I don't know if there's any sauce at all, actually. It's an ethnic thing, it looks like. I'm very familiar with pita bread because I'm Egyptian. And I've been eating this stuff, that type of bread, my whole life. That kind of pop. That kind of pocketed flatbread. And there we go, got juice dribbling all over me. As far as entrees go, the chicken fajita pita is the lightest item on Jack's menu. It's only 330 calories. I think it's scrumptious. The chicken is very obviously grilled. If they're using any sauce at all, it's extremely light. What shines through most is tomato. The lettuce is pretty fresh. And even the pita bread is not too bad. Obviously has not been sitting around too long. I'm kind of curious what the source of their pita bread is. There are a few major companies that make pita or Arabic bread in the United States. And it's, it's a nice package altogether. If I was to rate it on a five point scale, I'd give it five out of five. It's not too often that you find a health alternative at a fast food joint. And yeah, I feel comfortable calling it a healthy fast food alternative. I don't know how popular this item is, but the fact that it's still on the menu says a lot of good things about it. Unfortunately, the price tag is a bit steep. It runs close to $4, depending on your area. I've seen it anywhere from $3.50 to about $4.20. In a combo, you're looking at close to seven bucks. Um, but if you like a healthy alternative, Jack's Chicken Fajita Pita is the way to go. Just don't get fries with that. Hope you enjoyed this review. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And until next time, stay in school, don't do drugs, and eat like a freak. I'm going to eat my lunch now. They call it a fajita, but it don't remind me of any fajita I've ever eaten. And it doesn't feel quite Middle Eastern to me. The name is a mystery. I think they just picked a name that would sound really different and really weird. Who the hell goes to a fast food joint for a pita?